Guys, in my last video, which you can see the uh, edits right there. In my last video, I made a very big mistake. And that mistake was really simple. But it was a fatal one. But actually, it's it, it's really interesting what happened. So, by default, in my video editing program, which is what you're looking at right now, I had two plugins on. And I didn't mean to have these plugins on, but some way I, I ended up getting the uh, defaults, which now I figured out after all these years. Um, so, yeah, for like at least a year, I had Voice Centric from Waves and FabFilter Pro DS as my default plugins and because most of the time I'm just editing either voiceovers or on camera audio which which is also voices. So I'm looking at uh I'm looking at down here if you right click there's actually a set default track properties option and I'm not going to click it but once you do okay I'll click it never mind I can cancel. So you click it and then you can actually choose, once my focus comes back on, you can choose all these different options. And I have just TrafFX checked right now. And if I chose OK, then that would make the default tracks that are new audio tracks have that on there automatically. All right. But the problem is, if you forget to turn those off, you just make a new track and... Apparently, I didn't hear an issue with it for whatever reason because by default, the uh, let's see, I think there's a doubler, the reverb, and of course, the intensity that controls compression. So, all my mixes, if you go back and listen to the video, whenever I hit the stop button in the video to stop playing the mix, you can hear reverb. Yeah, so it had compression, it had reverb, and it had a doubler on it that I didn't intend. So if you want to see, or, or I, should, I should say, if you want to hear the original mixes as they were intended, check out Real Home Recording on that website right there. I will link to everything below. You can see it. There's the uh, URL in the top part of the screen. And uh, yeah, so I corrected the audio in this video, which by the way, I think this will be basically the alternative to the current um, YouTube channel. Although I love YouTube, you never know when your day is going to come. So uh, yeah, this website has excellent video quality, excellent audio quality, and that's really all I'm asking for when it comes to making videos. Although I really do miss having a comment section. I don't understand why there's no comment section, but you know, Worst case scenario, I'll start putting videos up on realhomerecording.com to download and we'll have a message board there or something. I don't know. That's basically, you know, that would be like the last resort. But for now, uh, I, I have videos up on this channel and I will try to at least mirror the, the newest videos. And I'll maybe upload some of the older ones as well. I mean, I have uh, uploaded older ones before, but... I kind of forgot about this website, but now it loads up every single time I open Chrome. So anyway, yeah, check it out if you care about hearing the original mixes. See ya.